Before I get to my main message, there is someone that is having a hard time in life. That person may be my enemy. Hey, that person discussed something to me and that person really needs prayer big time. So much prayer. Yes, that person may be my enemy and I may be very soft-hearted. But while I was thinking about that person, I was tearing up. Is it bad for a man to cry? I guess that is a joke. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I was crying. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyways, let me get to my message. Let me say this as well. Some people may believe this life is all about you, like, yourself as in this life is about enjoying yourself minding your own business about you which is so untrue this life is about not only about yourself but about other people We can't only be concerned about ourselves. Only about ourselves. We have to be concerned about other people. If you say you are Christian and you are self-absorbed, selfish, only caring about yourself, how can you be Christian? How? Was Jesus Christ self-absorbed? No. Was he selfish? No. Did he only care about himself? Of course not. So how can you be of Christ and be that way? Okay. Something, this was years ago, and I may not have all the information in order or totally accurate, but someone asked me to do something, and I did not want to do it at all. And what I was paid was so low. So pretty much <laughs> I was doing it for that other person's benefit because what that person was paying me was so low. And it was something that was a burden upon me, like if that is the right word for it, like a nuisance, whatever word I can use, it was a hindrance, I guess I can say to me. And so many days, I think I was having so many bad thoughts about what I had to do for that person. And I guess there came a time to where I guess something came to my mind to stop complaining because I believe I would verbally complain and 
in my thoughts, I guess, complain as well. So I wanted to change my attitude about what I had to do. Because now I could have chosen, I could have chosen, I could have chose to not do it, but you reap what you sow. I was able to help that person and I believe if I chose not to help that person, something bad would have happened to me. And you may say, how do you know that, Kevin? Look, man, in this life, we are here not only for ourselves. We are here for other people. So we are here for other people's benefit. Right? There may be bad things happening to you because of how you are. I believe we get tested by God so many times and I think many of us continue to fail because we may have this thought, this life should be lived by our own standards, which is not really the case. Anyways, I believe it came to my thoughts to stop complaining. So what I used to do, I used to like yell out positive things. Like I love doing this. I forget exactly what I was saying, but perhaps something like, I love doing this. I enjoy it. I will always do this. I can't get enough of this. I am so happy about this, even though I felt the opposite, but I was speaking life. Kevin, speaking life does nothing. It is never going to do anything for you. No, speaking life, I believe, has so much power. And I used to yell, not around other people, I don't think, but I guess when I was alone, I would yell like, I love this, I won't complain, I am happy, I am doing this for God, I believe stuff like that, and I would do this more than one time, maybe many times, then there came a time to where what I was doing for that person became something I liked, like to where I really, really liked it. To where at first I hated it, then it came to a time to where I liked it because I believe I was speaking life. I was speaking positively about it, even though at that time I was feeling so bad about it. I did not like it. I was underpaid. I was doing stuff I did not want to do, but I believe it came a time to where I enjoyed it to a certain extent. Okay. You may ask me, Uncle Cav, what is your point? Give me time. Give me time. There are some things you may have to do for a person. Maybe you are trying to live for God now and you may have to forgive someone. You may have to interact with someone you don't. Hey, instead of complaining and whining and why do I have to go through this and stuff like that, 
Begin speaking life into what you have to do. Start saying, I love this. I like doing this. I love that person. And you may say to me, Kevin, isn't that lying? No. I believe the Bible, if I am not mistaken, I believe the Bible tells us to speak positively, right? I believe the Bible also say death and life. I may have this mixed up. Death, <laughs> death and life lies in the power of the tongue. Something like that, right? So if I speak positively to what I want my feelings to be, how is that lying? Hmm? Should I say I hate this? You know, I want to die. You know, just begin saying really negative things and have it affect me. Why? Why should I do that? Why should I use my words as a weapon against me? Why should, if I am already having a difficult time, why would I use my words to beat myself up? Let me speak life. Let me speak positively about something I don't like. So if I continue to think positively, if I continue to speak positively, well, won't my feelings change? Won't my, I guess, perspective change as well? Back in my past, when I used to often do what is wrong, willfully and often do what is wrong, I learned back when I was in full out sin or lukewarm, maybe partially, no, let's say full out sin, I learned, I believe I learned focusing on my problems so much made me feel worse. So I developed, I guess, a game plan. Don't think about your problems until you have to deal with them. Like, for instance, let's say you have to go to court. Some people, let's say you have to go to court in three months. Some people may worry about it every day until they get to go to court, until they have to go to court. So for me, yes, it may have been very difficult at times, but I would try to not think about my problems until I had to really deal with them. If you understand what I am trying to say to you. So, if there is something you don't want to do, but you know you have to do it, like forgive people, help people, and stuff like that, and let's say you are doing it now. Start speaking positively about it. Like, there is something I don't really want to give out too much information. There is something I do, and when I was placed in it, I did not really like it. I started to look for, I believe I started to point out things I liked about it. 
Yes, I could focus on the negative, right? That thing has that problem. That thing has this problem. My feet hurt and my fingers hurt and all this stuff here. No. I believe I started or looked for, I guess. I like this. I like that. It has this advantage, blah, 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 blah. And I like it. Yes, you know, there are some problems, but my feelings toward it is positive. Don't be the type of person you can only function well when everything is perfect. Like, if everything isn't perfect, you are going to complain, you are going to fuss, you are going to be depressed and cry all day and stay in your room and begin thinking about how to kill yourself and stuff like that. Look, man. Speak life. Think positively. Like, if thinking about it positively won't really work good for you, begin to yell it out. I love this. I like this. I enjoy this. Kevin, that is lying. To me, that is not lying. So, let me stop here. God bless you.